Good evening. Welcome to Freaky Friday, presented by the Burncoat Theatre Department. There will be one brief intermission where refreshments will be served. Thank you for your continued support of the arts at Burncoat. We hope you enjoy our production of Freaky Friday. So, you're never going to believe me. No one in their right mind could ever possibly believe me. But what I'm about to tell you is true, 100% true. Everything started the day before my mom got married. Honey. The day I had, I'm Ellie. talking mind-bending, bananas. Ellie. What? Hello, sweetie. This is my mother. Hi there. Oh, you look adorable. See, she looks nice. You can do that. I'm in the middle of a story. I know, I'm being supportive. Well, could you do that somewhere else? What if you started by telling them about the family? I know, I'm getting there, it's my story. Fine, I'm going. Good. So, it was the second Friday in April, and every morning is pretty chaotic in our house. But this was even more crazier than, Mom, what are you doing? I want to see your pretty face. She hides her face. Mom! That morning, she was really up my grill. Just one day, that's all I need. Just a day without her nagging. Just one day, I beg, I plead, but the drag just keeps on dragging. While I wish for just one Monday or Friday to be free, free to slouch and sulk and mumble and be messy and be me. All I ask is for 12 hours to live my life my way. For just one simple, awesome, crazy, kick-ass day. Mom, can I ask you something? Honey, I'm gonna need you to hold that thought. I'm making the arch of roses. Oh, Tori, no, not roses. Peonies, ranunculus. Fix that. Gray aprons okay? Uh, yes, but not the short ones. I have the halibut. Where do you want the cooler? Oh, Tori, focus. The fish. <sighs> Ellie, your outfit has not been improved by time. I'd wish you'd change. Please change. Ugh! Just one a day, she's on my back. She's been riding me forever. All my faults and all I lack and all I'm, all oh, whatever. Cause I'm lazy and I'm average and I'm sloppy for a start. And I know she'd like a daughter who was pretty thin and smart. And I know she's freaking perfect, but I'll never be that way. Not for a single solitary day. Tomorrow is the wedding, and tonight is the rehearsal, and there is no room for error. I mean, not one flaw. We've got guests in just 10 hours. Dress the tables, trim the flowers. I want beauty and perfection. I want total awe. And with Weddings Magazine here for a feature on the scene here, the business in depending on this one success. Now breathe, but thank you, Tori. And in fact, that is the story. So get moving, move this produce, and remove this mess. You are your just one day is all I want with my family united. Fears at bay, no fights, no taunts, just the four of us delighted. I mean, look, I love my kids, I love my work, I love my life, and I love my fiance, and in a day I'll be his wife, and I'll throw the perfect wedding, and I'll throw the bride's bouquet. And we'll have one happy, loving family day. Fletcher, that's mine. Dad gave it to me. Fletcher, just put it down. Mom, there's a thing tonight that basically... Angry Bob wants to hold the hourglass. Angry Bob can shut it, weirdo. Ellie, just put it down. I brought donuts. Yay! Oh. And coffee for the bride. Good morning. Good morning, Ellie. Uh-huh. Up here, buddy. How's the wedding toast going? This guy's toast is gonna kill me. It's straight to Hollywood. Mom, seriously, I need to ask you something important. Mom, seriously, I need to ask you something important. Mother Fletcher is puppeting me again! Stop yelling! <sighs> One more day, she'll fight and fuss when her joy is all I'm after. It's been a long, tough time for us, so it's time to hear some laughter. Cause I only want her happy and well punctual and clean But she mumbles and she grumbles and at times she's outright mean She's bright and so insightful but those traits aren't on display Well, not lately, often, ever, not today Oh, you guys 
guys are here early. We couldn't check into the hotel yet, so we came over to help. Oh, great. I'll go find your father something to eat. <laughs> Gonna have anything I like. Hannah, Gretchen, we can leave in a sec. Have you asked her mom about the hunt yet? Ask me what? There's a thing tonight. <laughs> oh, tonight is in the wedding rehearsal for Weddings Magazine. That tonight? Mrs. Blake, Ellie, Gretchen, and I have formed a team to do the hunt! Oh no, I know all about the hunt. Kids stay out all night doing all these crazy, dangerous things all over the city. And to be honest, it scares me to death. Well, my mom said it was okay. Everything is okay, you're Swedish. Okay, really fast. Tonight is the hunt. It's an epic scavenger hunt. Every year there's a new list of impossible things to do and crazy things to find. And every year there's a new list master. This year, the list master is Adam. The hunt has been happening at my high school forever. It's the mother of all scavenger hunts. It's so much fun and I really wanna win. There's just one issue. Just one day, that's all I seek, and I have been asking nicely. Just one day, it's not a week, it's a night to speak precisely. And the hunt is not a stunt, it's my one shot at fame. To be someone who is something, not just what's her name. If I'm in it, I can win it, if she'd only say okay. We'd be off and running, gunning for one fun and perfect day. Mom. What are the Mom. You should ask Mom. Mom, please do not touch Mom. Mom. Know that apron is a crime and that sea bass isn't fresh. It's three days dead. Mom, I really need to know if I can wait now where she go. God, I'll never draw her focus from the bread. There's a million Mom, little it's just things a little from the thing raising to the ceiling. Right, I'm just kind of scared. I wouldn't even ask you what a day. What a day. What a day. Okay. Yay. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay, God, that's okay. okay. Just one day, Just that's one all day we you get. For the bells to hunt the story. Just one to day, sunrise, sunset. Can that night in all its glory? Just say the word and we'll be on our way. We're on our way. Just one stressful, perfect, busy, anxious, anxious, high stakes. Do or die. Crazy day! So, you'll think about it? I'm sorry, the answer is no. Shut up! You suck, Fletcher. Go to class without me, I'll stay and convince her. Bam, we'll do the hunt. Mom! Mom! Mom? Tori, I'm sorry, but these pears aren't even close to right. Mom, forget the stupid pears for just one second. Ellie, maybe give your mom a break? Could you stop pretending that you're my dad? Because you're not. Harsh. Ellie, apologize now. No, it's OK. I know the, the whole family's just a, a little on edge this morning. The family? I see a lady, her boyfriend, and a weirdo with a puppet for a friend. My name's Angry Bob. That's enough. You are not a weirdo, okay? Can you take him to school, please? Yeah, 1.30 back here for the ceremony? Yes. Perfect. I hate you. Excuse me? I hate you. I hate your attitude. I don't need to live a large. I just like to be in charge of the things I do and eat and how I dress. Oh, my dear, I wish you knew all the work I have to do just to keep you in your munchies and your mess. If you knew what if I you go knew through, what I go through, what you'll do, grown up shoes, maybe you would, would see all the reasons why I can't say if yes. If you knew what I go through, how it's hellishly unfair. Oh, I'd love to be in school, have a day without a care. How I'd wish you'd understand and see the world my way in just one day. In just one day. Just one day, just one day, just one day. Ellie, you are acting like a child. Oh, really, Mom? I'm the child. What the? What the? This, this is, is not, not funny. funny. Ah! Oh my God! You have my face. 
You have my face and you have my body. You just broke my hourglass. Oh my God, what is happening? Honey. Oh, you stay away from me, you weird clone. Ellie, Ellie, it's me, I'm mom. You are not my mom. I'm mom. Shut up. Ellie, you are not to tell me to shut up. Oh my God. You are my mom. How did you get in my body? How did you get in mine? I'm in yours. Oh, no way, this sucks. Oh, I don't understand this. You know what? Maybe someone drugged us. Oh, Fletcher! Your brother did not drug us. But we're sick, I'm calling 911. Wait, no, stop. If you go to the hospital right now and say we switch bodies, they'll lock us in the psych ward and medicate us until someone writes a book about us. No hospitals, no doctors, no way. We have to figure this out on our own. If we're not going to the hospital, then what are we going to do? Ellie, we are going to solve this. We are not going to freak out, okay? Okay. Okay, the wedding is tomorrow. <laughs> is that really necessary? <laughs> yes! You are the worst thing that has ever happened to me. You ruined my life. Young lady, watch your tone. Oh, you don't like it? Well, it's your tone. Get your hair out of your face. Have a positive attitude. Put down that hourglass. The, the hourglass. hourglass. Oh my god, we totally broke a magic hourglass. Honey, I highly doubt we were holding a magic hourglass. It's, it's magic. magic. Oh my god, what are we going to do? Oh, oh wait. Yes. Dad gave them to us. One for me and one for you, so if we can just find the one that Dad gave to you, we can switch back. What? I don't have it. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have it? I sold it. Sold it when? A week or two ago. But, but Dad gave those to us. You know, you just want to forget everything about him. No, we needed the money. What? Things have been tight financially. I sold it to an antique store in Wicker Park. Secondhand Moe's. The store opens at one. We can go by the hourglass and figure out how to switch back. We just have to get through this morning. They're here. The writers and photographers from Winning Magazine. Catherine Blake, finally, I made the bride. Who's woman enough to cater, design, and execute her own wedding? It's funny that you say execute because, like, <sighs> Catherine, I know you wanted to show them your first concept sketches. Have you guys seen the backyard? For show them the yard. Just go. Just go. Yeah, the backyard is, like, awesome. You should go see what? Ellie, that's Weddings Magazine. I need the story. We're talking a cover story that will make or break my business. And until we figure out how to switch back, I need you to be me. I know it's hard, but I can help you. Well, I need to go to school. You can miss school today. Actually, I can't. Why? One more unexcused absence and I'll fail 11th grade. Fail? When were you going to tell me this? At the mandatory parent-teacher conference today. How can you be so irresponsible? I don't know, I guess you'll find out at the meeting. Okay, well... We need a plan before we go get the hourglass. Um, you'll have to stay here for the interview, which means I'll go to your school. No way in hell you can survive a day at my school. You don't know how to talk, you don't know how to act, and you're gonna be weird and then people are gonna think that I'm weird and it's just gonna like last forever. I'm not listening to you because you're being ridiculous. You listen to me. There is going to be an interview and it is essential that you be polite and charming. Yeah, because that is so you. And not snarky. And do not be mean to Mike. Ugh, this is so lame. Uh. No carbs, I don't even think about it. Focus. Focus on what? One, get my picture taken. Two, get interviewed. What a rough life. <sighs> Honey, being a working parent is, in fact, extremely difficult. Comparatively, your life is simple. Oh, yeah, my life is so hard and tiring. Ugh. You go to school, you come home easy. One, I make food for the party, and then they go to that party. Don't worry about me. Wow. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, I got this. I can see what you do for me to be you. I got this. I'll bake stuff. I can fake like I make stuff like you. I'll have a laugh, have my coffee, half calf, and then yell at the staff on your behalf. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Put a stick on my butt, be quick to say, what that, not this. I'm perfection. I don't need your direction at all. Call me a slob or a slackerish blob. I can act like a snob and fool that mob. I got this like it's my job. Good. You can see what it means to have a job. I'll go to school. Oh no, you're not wearing that. Mom, promise me you'll keep your head down, okay? Don't look at anyone and don't embarrass me. I know it's hard to believe, honey, but I attended high school and I did just fine. 
I got this. Yeah, I got this. Do my hair with some care, I'll primp and prepare. I got this. I'm delighted. It's not right, you're excited for school. Scoff if you may, it's a part I can play, and it's only a day, and so I say, I got this. Yes, I got this. I'll be bright and demure, act right till I'm sure they've got this. I'll show you, no, nobody will know it's not you. Leave it to me, cause how hard can it be when I've got my degree in such a spree? I got this, soon you'll see. I think I'm look think I'm looking forward to my day to tell the truth. A day under the energy and innocence of you. A thousand fellow students all excited just like me. A community of learners. Really? How hard could it be? I got this. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Hey, here comes the list master. Now listen up, you hunters. Here's the Here's the deal. The list goes up online at nine, and then the hunt's for real. Don't schmooze for clues, cause I'll refuse. I only do what's right, cause I'm this master Adam. And my word is law tonight. His word is law tonight. Tonight's the night. Sandwich did you bring today? Oh, I made, my mom made ham chutney and shallots and a brioche. Do you want it? You know it. Amazing. Catch you later. I give him my lunch every day? Uh, like you're feeding a unicorn. <laughs> Hannah, I don't like him. Do I? No. You love him! <laughs> <laughs> I heard something funny, Ellie Blake. I heard someone say that you said you thought you could win the hunt this year. Savannah, it's obvious that you're at the top of the social hierarchy here. Kudos, but there's been a misunderstanding. You better believe it. This, I got this. I'm the queen of the hunt, you're green, you're a grunt, I got this. You. Girl, if you choose to refuse, girl, don't be scared with the worry, can't win, cause I'm smarter than sin, I'm written on thin, Savannah, look out, it's Savannah, Fox Humana, she's our Fox Humana, I'm the cock of the walk, I'm talking the top banana, she's our top banana, so don't me, uh oh, I never fail, no, I always prevail, as Harvard and Yale, so we've been well. She's not 
this kiss my tail. I got this. I got this. Ellie Blake, where are you supposed to be by now? I don't know. Oh, stop. No, please stop. We need a little more fill in the left corner. Careful, that's hand paint in China. Catherine prefers her tablescapes framed from above, right? Whatever. Um, this is the fridge. Keeps things cold. Um, plates and napkins. Um, and then the thingies that uh, flip. Oh, spatulas! Like a bunch of spatulas. Where did you learn how to cook? Um, she went to the CIA. I'm a spy. The Culinary Institute of America. Oh, food spy. So, as a working mom, not to mention bride-to-be, how do you manage your work-life balance? Oh, I ignore my kids. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Catherine plans everything with military precision. She makes a plan and we go to war. Weddings are war! What inspired you to do everything for your own wedding? Obviously, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you an interesting secret. All brides are a little crazy. Oh, no, it's not because I'm a bride. It's me. I love bossing people around. Right, Tori? <laughs> what makes Catherine's work so special is her attention to every detail. You have to see the cake. Cake? Your wedding cake? Oh, go get it. Your fiance's name is Mike? Uh-huh. Your assistant told us that you and Mike met when he was refinishing your kitchen cabinets. That's adorable, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh my god, I made that? <laughs> Bam, I made that. Like, <laughs> Is that fondant or ganache? Uh, Tori? Ganache! Ganache! Lot of ganache. Tell me more. Um, it tastes really good. Catherine, if I'm going to write a weddings magazine cover story, I need to know the woman behind the bride, behind the wedding. Right. Who is the real Catherine Blake? I'm uptight and neurotic. I crave complete control. But baby, I do magic with just a mixing bow. Oh, oh. I somehow stay this skinny while baking giant cakes. I guess it's just my damn <laughs> damn is who I am. I do, you do what it takes. You use what you've got. Yeah, what you've got. I'm badass at the cooking. And pretty damn good looking, right? Tell me that I'm not. I'm one annoying human, but give me sage and cumin. I'm one hot shot. You bake your cake with what you've got. You know, I'm the kind of bride who likes a fun party. But, you know, this cake is here all thanks to Tori. Thanks to me. You designed the cake. It's your recipe. Oh. Now Tori here is nervous. I snap and Tori freaks. But look at her meringue. They're the perfect little peaks. She acts like I'm the boss. We both know it's not true. I dictate like a jerk. She somehow makes it work. I do? You do. Yes, I do. Cause that's what you've got. It's what you've got with Robin like reflexes. Our key to our success is to keep this kitchen hot. If I get all the glory, the credit goes to Tori. Cause I do squat. What? You make it work with what you've got. What you've got. What you've got. Ooh. What you've got. What you've got. Ooh. Tomorrow I will marry 
a man that I just met. The wedding is insane. The cake's the best you'll get. I'm cold and I'm withholding. And put that in your book. But give this girl a knife and hold on for dear life, cause she can cook. Yeah, she can cook. You use what you've got. Yeah, what you've got. She treats him, baby, hear that. I'm loving her free spirit. Right? That's what I thought. My neuroses have pretension. You're judgy not to mention. But throw it in the pot and bake your cake with what you've got. What you've got. What you've got. What you've got. Woo. Make it hot. With what you, what you, what you, what you, what you, what you, what you've got. You know, that honestly went like really well. One Miss Blake, what a treat. What a wondrous occasion to have you in biology today. You know, they did a study on sarcasm in the classroom and it's actually the least effective way to communicate. Really? How interesting. So, what did your mom say about the hunt? My mom, oh, she said no, I can't do the hunt. How can you drop out? My mother is under real pressure today. I need to be there for her. Since when do you want anything to do with your mom? Yeah, you said that all she cared about was the wedding. I said that? Elle, we're a team. We have to do the hunt together. Please don't give up. Uh, oh! Nice of you to join us. Day nada. Hey, sup? What? What? Did you just say, hey, sup? I said, sup. Oh, sup. Class, no pop quiz today. Yeah. Oh! The frogs are here. We're doing dissections. Oh. Oh. Why do we have to dissect today? Because I'll be damned if my car smells like hot frogs again. Hey, Adam, want to be lab partners? I read the entire textbook for fun last summer. Nah, I already have a partner. <laughs> Pick up your scalpels. <laughs> it's so sad. Gretchen, your frog lived a long and happy life filled with triumphs. I remember last month, just looking at a starfish made you sick. Do you need a bucket? You know, Savannah, today I feel pretty comfortable with a knife. Very good, Miss Blake. Whoa. Sorry. Um, that's okay. <laughs> I'm Issa Dahl Anatomy, a master of dissection, an expert chef who wields an expert knife. But still I sense a gremlin in the system of perfection. There clearly are still mysteries to life. It's kingdom, phylum, class, and then it's order, family, genius. It all comes back to me like child's play. He leans over my shoulder there in all his long and leanness and cuts my heart and knowledge clean away. I try to keep a focused mind and steady head. Keep focused. Who keeps steady? But the rhythm of my heart is like a country western band. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh, biology, what have you done to me? Why can't my grown-up brain control my teenage parts? Oh, biology, why won't you let me be? Why can't you be humane and still are beating hearts? Before the cutting starts. Oh, Ellie, check it, man, dude. He's inert and he's articulate, a specimen of true and, and though we're both 16, he's much too young. My amygdala is fully formed, my frontal lobe is fluent, and pheromones go futzing with my tongue. That's so amazing, I'm waking press like sweet technique. Holy cow! I'm like totally unthinks, cool lord, now can't I even speak? What have you done to me? My over 40 soul is in a teen cliche. Oh, biology, why won't you set me free? Cause I'm not in control and hunger has its say. And hormones have their way. Focus, Blake, focus. Hey, take a look at Ellie Blake. She does this love work great. Her turn there, he had no chance. So it makes sense But something's up with her today I don't know what it is She's like on fire She's so intense Oh, biology What have you done to me? My heart is in a pan My brain is out to sea Oh, biology Why won't you let me be? Please hear me if you can Please hear my painful plea no way we can like no okay so you can just make another one or don't um you know what no cake problem solved bam that's not how you solve a problem I tried to keep her at the hotel Catherine I swear she wants us here you want us here. Do you guys want to make a wedding cake? Very funny. Like you'd let us. Katie! Oh, you! Okay, hey. Oh, no, stop. No, thank you. How was the interview? It was, it was good, you know? It was an interview, I guess. Right, I guess. Um, um. Um, do you have any more of that coffee from this morning? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I only had one. Gotcha. Only five, one. Um, that's fine. <laughs> Who are you? Remember Pastor Bruno from the wedding workshop weekend? <laughs> wedding workshop? Wow! Good to see you, Kevin! Yeah! I understand the place is on the way outside in the backyard! Or you can do it in church like normal people! Here they go again. I need to lie down. Oh, uh, let's talk to the ceremony. It's traditional to start with a prayer, but I tell you what, I do something a little different. Oh, you go satanic? <laughs> uh, I like to begin by asking the Pope to tell the story of how they first met. Oh, I love that. How did you? Okay, so I come in. Thirsty on the job. He was designing our kitchen cabinets. Cages the stove, working on something, and I say, wow, that smells delicious. The only thing I know how to cook are seven layer bars. <laughs> tell him what you said next. No, you tell him. 
<laughs> it's funnier when you say it. No, really, you. Come on. She said. I said. Seven, seven layer bars, layer bars don't, don't actually count as cooking. cooking. She I hates love seven, seven layer, layer bars. bars. Good, uh, mm, good story. The two of you are writing your own bars? Oh, yes. No. They're not done? No. Katie, I know how important it is for you to have every detail perfect. perfect. The vows are important to me. I want to stand up there in front of everyone that we love and say the words that come from us. Why don't I tell you what I got so far? Oh, no, 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 no. That's really, that's really okay. It's, you don't, you don't have to. It's fine. I'm not a man of many words and none that can convey exactly how I felt when I first saw your face that day. That is so nice. I'm not a man who makes a speech or flaunts a fancy rhyme. So all that I can say is I will love you for all time. And I feel somehow I know you like I've known no one before. But still, I know there's more. I'm not a man who writes a book. That gift, it isn't mine. For you, I'd write a thousand books my heart in every line and every book would tell of you and what our life will be and through it all you'd say a stunning mystery to me and i feel somehow i know you like i've known no one before though i know for all i know of you there always will be more Cause love is in the knowing and the wishing that you knew Cause Catherine My Catherine I love right there. Oh, um, it looks like a tattoo of a Diddy Lane. Cute. Why? Why would I do this? I have a tattoo on my underage backside. Busted. You're busted. I knew somehow that you could never truthfully be trusted. A tattoo? What were you thinking? Perfect skin is not for inking. I won't have you be a star of girls gone wild. Oh no, you're busted, busted, my job. We are officially 55 minutes behind the master schedule. We need to prep the salads, marinate the fish, and wrap the fish oh, and bacon. This all hurts my head. Do you need your, you know? Yeah, where's my, you know? Top the cabinet, oh great 10. These are cigarettes? I smoke? Throw these away, enabler. Oh, that's why my mouth tastes like carpet. Ugh. Busted, you're busted. I'm shocked my world is rocked and I'm a little bit disgusted. And it's not like it's no biggie. Every time you sneak a ciggy, you're setting off a tiny cancer bomb. Oh no, you're busted, busted, dear mom. And what else are you hiding that you never thought I'd see? What else are you hiding from the principal and me? These bills are overdue. Throw them in the trash. These books are overdue. A blatant waste of cash. And here a secret spot. Aha, uh -huh, I found your stash. This is so not organic. Busted, you're busted. Your hose now I've exposed you. you 
screw your dot and dusted. This is sketchy and it's hinky. Although, thank you for the twinkie. Cause we all need some cream filling now and then. Oh no, you're busted, busted again. Mom, seriously, calm down. I found your secret munchies. So where do you hide the bomb? I don't do drugs. She knows the bed because they comfort me. I thought this was a scrunchie. Turns out it was a thong. Mom, what are you doing? Get that out of your hair! I found your secret stash. Candy corn, Mom. Please. You should be available you out. I checked your browser cache. Box of news? For shame! I'm just looking for the truth, Mom. that I made her. It's actually not half bad. The journal that I gave her and the family with her dad. All, all these, these things I that she keeps. All these things I wish I'd known. But some I'm glad I know now. But some should say her Watch where you're going. Anna. It's Ellie. He's mom. Ellie Blake. Catherine Blake. Ellie Blake's mom. Yeah, sandwich lady. She must think really highly of you. Your sandwiches are the best thing I've ever tasted. Ellie's lucky. Yeah. Adam. Adam. Dr. Aaron, hey. Have we met? Yeah, um, no, I just know you by your reputation. Um, he's the school guidance counselor. Yeah, I know, I go here. Right. Um, Catherine Blake getting married tomorrow, so much to do, so maybe if we could like keep this short. This is Miss Luckenbill, she teaches literature. Wow, Scarlet Rat Letter, great read, real page turner. And this is Senor Wyatt, our Spanish teacher. Buenos tardes. I've been looking over Ellie's, Ellie's test scores. She never tested well. Because I don't study. Or the tests are too hard, agree to disagree. 
I've also seen her conduct reports. You know, I think that she's a pretty great kid. I could do better. She's been absent from my class 17 times this year. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> No, she hasn't, have I? Oh, look at her play the innocent. Ellie, how do you feel about what Senora O'Brien just said? Shocked and angry. Angry at myself. Angry, yes. The Adderbox assessment, the adaptive behavior skill, the Beck anxiety inventory, all these tests tell me angry. Uh, that. those tests are stupid. Miss Blake, if Ellie continues to treat her classes like a Las Vegas buffet, she may not graduate from the school. Great, just great. Sometimes I like to role play. Ellie, you pretend to be your mother. Catherine, you be Ellie. Let's talk. No. no. I can tell you what's wrong. I infantilize my daughter. I'm controlling. I'm a pill. I micro, micromanage. I'm all up in her grip. It's called parenting. I demand that she be perfect. All that pressure, you know, all that fuss. Ugh. I'm a parenting disaster, don't you think so? Let's discuss. Forgive my darling mother and forget each thing she said. Put the blame where it belongs now, squarely on my head. I'm reckless and I'm feckless, I go and get tattoos. I think it's called a tramp stamp. I can show you if you choose. Oh, no, 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 no. She doesn't smoke like me, you know, I smoke. My faults are much too numerous to me. It's awful to admit, but that's the game. Somebody has got to take. Somebody has got to take. Somebody has got to take the blame. <laughs> it's a single parent family, so you both are filled with rage. Her development's arrested at the pre pre verbal stage. Or it could be ADHD, ADD, or STDs. I suggest that you try Ritalin and yoga and soy cheese. Soy cheese? This is asinine. She's functionally unpunctual. She's raucous and she's rude. Excuse me, es mi hija, so perder la attitude. She's intelligent. Oh, do you hear that? But unfocused, barely there. I think she smokes the ganja. Oh, she does not. I don't? I swear. She's wasting her potential just the same. It's not her fault if she's too bright to take. But somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take. Enough with all the shaming and the blaming, no, you hush. The armchair analyzing and the psychobabble mush. I'm a teacher, I should reach her, so the failure here is mine. She's bright and she's articulate, her heart and mind are fine. In all this finger pointing, this crusade, no one thought to check her file to see she's struggled for a while since the seventh grade. Dear Dad passed away. Just say died, okay? He died. Oh, honey, I've been thought to send for years. I never thought your anger stood for tears. It's clear to me I have to take a Listen, do we have to do this now? I don't care to discuss it anyhow. It's high school counselor BS all the same. Cause nobody has got to take the blame. I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to. Let's wrap this up. I appreciate all the feedback. From now on, I'm going to be really good. You know what? Your class sounds really boring. <gasps> but somebody has got to take the
Thanks for sticking up for me in there. You're welcome. 17 days ditching school? I thought we were having a moment here. The moment is over. Honey, we have responsibility in this world. Missing class is not okay. And when you're back in this body, you're grounded. Well, when you're back in this body, your pants are gonna feel tighter because I had two pieces of extra gluten toast. Give me the car keys. Blake, Jim, now. Oh, I, what? You are due in gym class. Oh, uh, right now I have a- uh, Ellie, you have responsibilities in this world. You know, missing class is not okay. I'm waiting on you, Blake. I don't like waiting. You go to class, I'll go get things. See you at home. Shopping with my mom. Shopping with my mom. Going into stores, stores with fancy doors and fancy floors. Shopping with my mom. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! You know, could you just shut up for like five minutes? Out of business? Out of business? What's the matter? So many things. I stupidly sold an hourglass to this place and now I need it back. Or else I'll be stuck forever. There's an hourglass in the bobble set. I need that one. If you're interested in purchasing any of my merchandise, I distributed the remaining inventory. I've distributed the remaining inventory to thrift stores throughout Chicago. How am I supposed to get to all of them before tomorrow? You could go to another store and get it. There's like hundreds of antique stores in Chicago. Quick and plan and go hunt for it, toots. Go hunt for it? Fletcher, if I get the hourglass on the list for the hunt, then the whole school will be looking for it. Oh my God. I got this. <laughs> Yeah, I got this. I know what I'll do. I'll make it a clue. Oh, I got this. The list master can relieve this disaster for sure. He'll bend a few rules and then half of the school will hunt for the glass and save my... Um. <laughs> but <laughs> I got this. Let's hit the gas. Sounds good, old girl. Come on! Today, you will be taking the Myers Extreme Fitness Obstacle Challenge. You don't pass my fitness challenge. You don't graduate. Get ready, all you losers. You TV dinner winners and snack pack snoozers. Best be on alert. No exceptions or excuses. You stomach aker fakers. No, I don't buy a ruse. Time to feel the hurt. Get the hourglass in the list for the hunt. Fine. Like, no devices. Everybody drop down and give me 20. Cause Ellie Blake decided I bring her phone into gym class. Whoa. You too, Blake. Let's go, let's go. Watch your back, better watch your back. Always someone moves faster, always someone on attack. So babies watch tail, the E is past fail, and I'm no hack. So hit the floor, hit the ropes, and watch your back. Savannah. I was just thinking, maybe we can work together for the hunt. Me be on a team with you? You better be joking. Look, to be honest, 
I don't care about the hunt. I want something on the list. You want to win. Team up. Savannah and Ellie on the team. What a nutritious food for thought. Not. Al, tell us what you do when. Say you have a plan. You're set to do the hunt now. You couldn't, now you can. And now your team, Savannah, are you joking, Al, for real? What's the truth? What's your plan? What's your deal? I can explain. Oh, don't bother. If you're talking, Blake, you're not breathing hard enough. Watch your back, better watch your back. With the look over your shoulder and the look back down the track. Run like I was not, baby, and you gotta please the pack. Better run like heck, save your neck and watch your back. Adam, hi. Hey. I heard about this cool oversized hourglass filled with pink sand. One of a kind right here in the city. And long story short, since you're the list master, could you put it on the list for the hunt? But you'd already know the clue that's cheating. That's ridiculous. I ain't no DJ Ellie. I don't take requests. The hunt I hold, it's sacred. A bond I won't transgress. For Pete's sake, it's a luck at most. A stupid childish game. So you say, it's my thing all the same. Adam, wait. Back. Better watch your back, Ooh. cause you're failing and you're failing and you're sailing for a smack. Don't piss off the list master, cause I'll never cut you slack. And I'll rule the rule, so keep me cool and watch your back. In my day I remember that our phys ed education was delightful, but this is only pain. The teacher is insane. These kids are so unfriendly, so unfeeling, so unhelpful, and so spiteful. And oh, my muscles hurt. The lesson that you learn is worth the burn. Cause life is hard, and that's a fact. That's a fact. So you better watch your back. Are you okay, Blake? You want to take a rest? That would be good, thank you. There's no rest in my fitness challenge! Everybody, listen up! Ellie Blake thinks she's deserved a break. You all know what that means. Blake is gonna start from the top. You've got one minute. Uh, Seconds over. Fail! Watch your back, 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 watch your back. Driving with my mom, driving with my mom. Going way too fast, other cars go past. Sometimes she gives them the finger. Driving with my mom! What? Do you want to hear my wedding toast? No. It's going to be so cool when you and Mike are married. Are you kidding? No. Do you remember anything about Dad? Don't remember him very much. Well, Mike isn't dad. I say, old chap, I want to way to pick up Ellie about now. No, she's going to meet us at home. Aw. What, you wish she were here? Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> awesome how? She's just cool. She shows me how to do cool things. When? There's this kid, Glenn, who was mean to me. So she showed me 
how to fill up water balloons with hot water. And then we waited until he walked by, and then we creamed him. So cool. If you think she's so cool, then why are you always torturing her with your puppets? I don't know. It's fun. I get to work on my heckler comebacks. Your heckler comebacks? I'm building my act when I go to Los Angeles. Fletcher, you're not going to Los Angeles with your puppets. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. You said my jokes were funny. Eh. You said my puppets were creative. Nope. You said puppeteers make a lot of money. Well, I lied, okay? Nuh-uh. Parents don't lie. Parents lie. It's sad but true. Mine lied to me. Yours lies to you. I lied to you. No way. About what? Where do I start? We say there's no monster there under your bed, but who knows, it's not like we search. And no one likes broccoli, we're all bad at flossing, and everyone's sleeping in church. And Buck the dog's not at a farm, Buck is dead. And mom wasn't wrestling with Mike in their bed. And Santa Claus, just forget what I said. No, Santa's the shiz. And Santa knows just how it is. Oh, parents lie because they can. So learn the truth, my bright young man. They lie with words, they lie with hugs. Parents lie, they lie like rugs. And parents will tell you you're great and special and stuff when clearly you're not. They say that one day you'll feel normal, but that's not enough, it's not by a lot. They'll hold you and tell you they love and they care, but they lie when they tell you they'll always be there. I know it's upsetting, but life isn't fair, and parents die. They tell you they won't, but they It's hard to hear, it's hard to say, it's true I fear, it's fine to cry, it's sad I know that parents lie, but parents lie, so come on, here we are. Let's go. Fletch? Just telling you what I wish someone would have told me. Tomorrow is the wedding and tonight is the rehearsal But there's been no sign of Catherine, she's been gone all day And I try to make decisions, but I haven't got her vision So I overscared the scallops with the pestilence Seriously, what's the deal with Ellie? She's a total Machiavelli and never to be trusted No, not anymore Mommy lies and Ellie's cruel and they're mean to me at school And there's nobody who gets you so we're out the door It's one day and not one more Till the wedding celebration That's the day we waited for A masterful creation Right? Now, where's our darling Catherine? And where the deuce has dinner been? That's the disaster, that's the story. 
here. So we're set on telling Ellie there's a flutter in my belly, and I hope that she won't hate us. But you never fear. We'll say hello to Kat and I'll tell her down and wear them then, but where the heck is Ellie? And where the heck is Ellie? And where the heck is Ellie? And where the hell is Catherine? And, and where the hell is Ellie? I'm here! I'm here! So. Did you get the hourglass and the list or what? Yep, where's Fletcher? I don't know, he's around here somewhere. I'm sure he's fine. Catherine, where have you been? Because I made some executive decisions. The change is in the tabletop arrangement and the napkins are all folded in a pocket. Oh my God, Tori, who was even looking at the napkins? Who cares? I do. I work for you because we care about napkins. It's who we are. What's wrong with you today? I'm going inside to play the cells and then I quit. Get back to the family places for the cells. Oh, good, you guys are here. So I let Ellie go on the hunt. So there you go. I changed my mind. Off you go. Ellie, we have to talk. Today was not okay. So what happened? She alienated Adam. She kissed up to Savannah. Oh, no, she did not. Oh, yes, she did. Ellie, we came here to tell you this in person. We're doing the hunt without you. We wish it could be different. Oh, wait, come on, you guys. My best friends hate me. What did you do? Nothing. Honey, girls, fight. This will blow over. Did you even manage to get the hourglass on the list? You need to tell me if I'm Oh, fine back scene. off, Hansy. Hey, Mom, turn down the volume. Oh, let's not argue tonight. You know what? Don't talk to her like that. You are totally patronizing. Babe, are you okay? You know what? No, I'm not, okay? I'm over. I'm, I'm rethinking this whole thing. All of it. After everything that I have done. You know what? Never mind. Mike, she didn't mean that. You did that on purpose. You ruined my life on purpose. How can you be so irresponsible? Just one day I did my best. A disaster, but I faced it. One short day, Just one, one day giant day mess, and, I had and it isn't like I you aced it. And I tried to get the Just hour one day treasure back I and it. And you couldn't even that figure how to get it. And we're almost at the wedding, and these guests won't go away. For just one stupid, lovely, crappy, thrilling, stupid, you already said that day. the guy walks down the aisle. Just one day, or maybe not. Where's so Fletcher? The dinner may oh, have had a he was here. I thought he was. Fletcher! The wedding we've been waiting for in just one day. Just one He's not in his room. His puppet suitcase is missing. Just one. Where's the dinner? Oh my god. Let's go to my truck. Just one day. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. Have a great wedding. Love, Fletcher. I was ready to be grown up, just waiting for the day. And now I am, I'm freaking. Does mommy feel this way? See, they think that I have answers. They look to me to guide. They see this old, old woman, but there's a little girl inside. Catherine, you're overreacting. Boys run away all the time. Well, feel free to run away now. Oh, sorry. I'm not myself today. I'm in a funny way. I'm not the thing they think they see. This alpha mommy, she's not me. They want a woman. can't say I'm not the woman I thought I was 
I'm not myself today. Tori, we need to put up flyers. Mike, where are the police? Oh, they're on their way. He's probably riding the rails, having the time of his life. I'm sure Fletcher's fine. We're handling it, sweetheart. I had no idea a woman could feel so damn dismissed. They smile and call me sweetheart. Does Ellie feel like this? See if only they would listen. I could get the search on track. But when they hear me talking, they just think I'm talking back. I'm not myself tonight. And more than me is not right Cause Fletcher's lost and so am I It's not that often, by the by I wish I were a six-foot guy But I wanna win this fight I'm not the woman I need to be I'm not myself tonight. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I'd hunt him down and kill him. My God, what a thing to say. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I'd find him, I'd hold him, and then I'd kill him, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not myself today. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm not okay. What a day. Even with all of this messed up stuff, I thought that I'd do better. I thought. of a person can't get my crap together I'm also a mess I'd say I'm not myself today 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 I'm in an awful way in an awful way I know I should be standing tall hunt has officially begun, and here's your first clue. See that sign? This clue will be solved by the fastest mind with the fastest mode of transportation, meaning first come, first solve. If this sign is gone when you get here, move on to clue two and beyond. Happy hunting. Where are you headed? Hollywood. Hollywood, long bus trip. Do you want to hear a joke? Yeah, I do. What do you call a sad coffee? No clue. Depresso! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you call a man with no body and no nose? I don't know. What do you call a man with no body and no nose? Nobody knows! 
What's your name? Fletcher. I was asking him. I'm Caspian. What's up, Caspian? I'm Adam. I think you go to school with my sister. Who's your sister? Ellie Blake. Ellie Blake, your mom's the sandwich lady. Awesome. Does she know where you are right now? Hey, little dude, what's up? I'm running away. Why? Because my sister started acting weird and my mom hates me. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Women, kid, women are like sandwiches. What? Women in sandwiches, they always surprise. They're more complicated than burgers or fries or guys. Women and sandwiches, some are cold and some hot. But take what they offer and you'll learn a lot. You look at the outside, the face or the bread. You don't know what's there in that roll or that head. But also you'll like what's inside for y'all. Women in sandwiches, I so love them all. And sometimes there's a sandwich with a taste that disagrees. That maybe makes you angry, gives you agi to the queez. But go with it at least a while, soon it's not so strange. The time and understanding taste can change. Step back. Cross it off the list. Wow. Women and sandwiches like chocolates and wine. Sometimes the strange ones are just the most fine. The good inside the face or the bread. You don't know what's there in that roll or that head But odds are you'll like what's inside for y'all Women and sandwiches, I so love them all Sometimes there's a sandwich that you looked at just one way Then it suddenly surprised you Say a lot and say today And then ask you to do something that you thought was just a cheat The explanation wasn't so complete Still in all, it's just a simple feat. And maybe you should help her, cause she's sweet. And her brother's pretty neat. So, you dropped the metaphor, and you're just talking about women at this point. That's what's going on here, right? You got me. Well, long may their heavenly mysteries live, and all of the joys and the sorrows they give. Wherever we weirdos, we wishing men wrong, women and sandwiches. Women and sandwiches. Women and sandwiches. Will always bring us home. <laughs> Want to get out of here before the cops come? Brilliant, mate. Brilliant, mate. Katie, the police are here. Finally, I have photos. Here's a school picture. His hair is longer now. You should put it on an APB. Uh, honey, we need to talk to your mom. Uh, how tall is your son? Uh, about yay high. Uh, how old? Nine. Ten. Ten. Mrs. Blake, what was Fletcher wearing the last time you saw him? Um, a shirt and pants. Brown corduroy pants, gray muffins t-shirt, brown and black Velcro corrective shoes. <laughs> corrective shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> Mrs. Blake, does Fletcher get along with everyone in his life? Well, he and his sister fight sometimes. He can be really annoying. Your son is annoying? Wait, don't write that down. Has Fletcher experienced any recent emotional trauma? Emotional trauma? Fletcher was his regular happy self today. 
Except I did hurt him. You hurt him? You hurt him? You hurt him? You hurt him? What the deuce, Catherine? Oh my god. Not physically hurt him, emotionally. I hurt his feelings. Okay, it was an accident. Of course it wasn't physical. My mother adores Fletcher. She spoils him rotten. Uh-huh. That must make you mad, doesn't it? No, it does not make me mad. Everyone loves Fletcher. I love Fletcher. Well, you seem mad. You think I'm mad? Yep. Ellie? He thinks I'm mad. You need to find Fletcher. Oh, 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 bring my baby home, my baby brother home, that precious little boy, his lover's bright and joy, her bright star, he searched from north to south and near to far, then searched from sea to sea. Fletcher, don't ever do that again. We're so nervous. You've been going crazy. We love you. We're so glad that you're okay. What are you doing here? He brought me home. I'm hungry. I could eat. Let's all go to the kitchen. I got something for all of you. Bye, Ellie. Oh, uh-huh. Thank you for bringing Fletcher home. He's a sweet dude. Um, today at school, did Ellie, like, act it, like, weird at all? Yeah. Oh, I knew it. We got into this fight about this hourglass. Adam, about the hourglass. Ellie was just trying to help. Okay, I broke one this morning. You know, she likes you. Then again, everyone likes you, but I just wanted to know that, like, she likes you. You know what, never mind. It's... I like Ellie, too. You do? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird to talk about this with you. Oh, totally. I'd rather talk about it with her. Would it be cool if I asked her out? Yeah, that cool. would be fine. Cool. Um, and Adam, if you could put the hourglass on the list, you know, that would be worth like a lot of sandwiches to me. Is Fletcher okay? Yeah, he is. Mom, what's the matter? I'm a terrible mother. 
I was so obsessed with throwing the perfect weddings for Weddings Magazine, Fletcher ran away. I didn't get the hourglass in the list, I messed up. Where's Fletcher? We heard he was missing. It was on the police radio. Why do you guys have a police radio? It was on the list for the hunt. Oh, Fletcher's home now. Oh, good. How's the hunt going? Terrible. We need Ellie. Well, we do. You guys, you know, I put a lot of pressure on Ellie today, so if she acted like a tool, which I'm pretty sure that she did, it was my fault, okay? You guys are all best friends. Can she be, just be back on the team? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> New clue. An hourglass filled with pink sand? Oh my god, you did it. You have to go. I can't. Why not? Your life and your peer group were both very confusing and the pressure is killing me. You go. You know what? I'd love to go. I've been dying to go on the hunt. But it'd be totally weird for a mom to do it. So maybe you could just dig deep and do this one thing for me? Okay, fine. Wait, I messed up everything today. What do I do? You'll figure it out. I trust you. Come on, let's go. We should try to find some of the small things first. Let's get the hourglass. I'll just be here. Hey, hunters, it's List Master. Now I've got you on the run. Gotta give it all you've got. And don't stop running till it's done. Found the last one, I've got more. Each tougher than before. And you know I'm keeping score, so I'll fall in. You'll know just where you're going, kids. Never where you've been. So go where you never thought you'd go. Go way too far. Where the thing you have to find will be found. Go there, go there, and be where you are. Be where you are. Ellie Blake. Look who's out after curfew. Yep, that's right. I'm with my friends now. My real friends? Oh, I'm so scared. Later, butter faces. <gasps> New clue, take an L ride around that loop. A roof ride as in on top of the L? That sounds very, very unsafe. Hey, hunters, yo, yeah. master. Yeah. Now if you're falling behind. Take a breath and look inside You never know what you might find Ooh. When this highway hits a curve uh, Find the courage, find the nerve uh, To get what you deserve And then fight on You only know a place for real Once you've been and gone This is a catastrophe no, it's not. See, Fletcher's here. He's fine. Not your son. Your wedding. The rehearsal, the rehearsal dinner didn't happen. I saw your assistant quit. Tori, I'm sorry if I was mean to you today. Could you maybe not quit? I wish I could quit you. I need to be candid. This wedding simply isn't a cover story for Weddings Magazine. You don't even have a cake anymore. Seven layer bars. Seven layer bars. I was just thinking that. You We're going. Can I make them too? Yes. No. Really? 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 Do you want to put on an apron? I love seven layer bars. Go where you never thought you'd go. Go, 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 go all in. Go, go, where the thing you have to fight might be found and Robbing a Graceland Cemetery? Extra points for a wreath? That sounds like a bad idea. We aren't doing anything illegal, are we? Go where you never thought you'd go. Go, go all in. Where the thing we have to find and be found. Go there, go there. And be where we've never been. We've never been. It's not the finding. What you find, you'll never see. It's not the being, but becoming. 
What you are, you'll never be. It's not the winning, but the wishing. Wishes end when you have one. Not the ending, but beginning. Cause we've only just begun. Yeah, we've only just begun. Tango with a boho, some with a delta. Girls, we can't forget the hourglass. We're catching up. Seeing but the looking for the things you just can't see. Fletcher, I'm sorry about what I said in the car today. You know, I'm sorry about this whole day. Mom, I took a bus by myself. We just made seven layer bars. I hung out with Ellie's boyfriend. <sighs> boyfriend. Mom, this has been the best day of my life. Really? It's not the knowing, it's the learning. Once you learn, you never know. It's not the having, it's the finding. Once you find it, let it go. are beautiful. Don't squander this time of your lives being ashamed of your bodies because this is as good as it gets. Now, we're going to take a photo right here and you're going to look at that photo and love yourselves. Hey, hunters, if you have a list master, is it feeling like you're through? If the night is getting older, then it's time for something new. If you're all up in your head About all the clues you've read Then find yourself instead Cause that's the goal There is no hidden mystery Like the human soul Go where you never thought you'd go Go Did you find that clue before me? Blow it out your ear, Barbie! No, look, I'm doing it. I'm taking my shirt off. Get out of here! Uh, Go where you never thought you could. Go be brand new. Be the person that you never thought you'd be. And you'll see Mommy, read to me, please. Okay. Peter awoke face down with a bird on his back and sand in his... Oh. Maybe it sugar out of the box. Mike, I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology for today. Yeah, I was warned. You did say if you catered our wedding, you'd be a, a crazy person. I didn't know how crazy, but... I also owe you an apology for Ellie today. For Ellie? Yeah, I know that she's not very nice and she's a pain. Not to speak out of school, Katie, but Ellie can be mad. It's okay. It is? 
You're too hard on her. She lost her dad. I could never replace him, and I wouldn't try. I need Ellie to get to know me on her terms. If she wants to be angry with me, then I can take it. She's not angry at you. She's just angry. I think she thinks that she'll forget her dad. No one needs to forget anybody, okay? Not her or you. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go iron my shirt. Listen to me, little sleeping monster. You there with the sugar-crusted face I understand the urge to run away, kid But stay a while and you might like the place Someday you'll be sixteen and awkward And too old for the puppets, but still odd. And you may feel alone or even angry, like life's a joke and grown ups are a fraud. But, kid, I swear to God that after all. I can tell you what I know After all of this and everything I promise you'll get through And Mom and Mike, you'll cut some slack Cause both of them have got your back Whatever crap may come our way after all of this and everything, kid, you'll be okay. You may feel like mommy doesn't love you. You just feel just angry every day and mad as hell at dad because he left you and angry at yourself to feel that way but listen when i say that after I can tell you what I know After all of your own everything You'll learn to let it go I know this family will get through And after all of this and everything Fletcher, I love you Oh crap I love you And after all of this and everything I have to face that too But yeah, I love you, kid I do All right, time for bed. Oh, my God. Mike! Mike! I like Mike. Yeah. Time for bed, Puppet Master. Let's go. Come on. Oh, God. I'm the mom. I have to clean up. <laughs>
Seven shots of espresso in four minutes. You're scaring me. Push 10, go, go, go. We got the Cubs count. Check. Bears ball. Check. Puff and the Blackhawks. Bulls jersey. Check, White check, Sox. Check. Sox. You guys are tied with El Savannah for the lead. Girls, we need the hourglass. El, we've checked every secondhand place in the city. I don't think we're going to get that hourglass. What time is it? Mrs. Time. <laughs> Mrs. Time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Of course. I use watch shop. The hourglass is sold to a used watch shop. Oh god, I see it. It's right there. Look, look, look. Hey, Miss Time, Miss Time, we got customers over here. Open up. It's very early. <laughs> she tells time. Hi, I know this will sound crazy, but I need to buy the hourglass in the window. No. Elle, we can't buy clues. Not buy, borrow. I'll bring it back. No. Please? No. Look, I know how hard it is to run a business. I know what it feels like to work a 60-hour week and get hit with a tax bill that wipes out your profits for the quarter. But from one small business owner to another, this favor matters. Please let us borrow it. It's just a loan. I want that hourglass. Too late. My father is an alderman, and if I don't get that hourglass now, he can call IRS to audit your books for the next five years. Um, well, you know, sorry girls, it's business. Hey, that's not fair. Oh, but at the end of the day, you are who you are. Savannah, we got here first, give it back. Oh, little girl, why don't you call your mommy for a ride home? My mommy wants me to stay. Let it go! What is this feeling that I'm feeling? Like I've shot it through the ceiling? Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza? Dear me, I had three slices of that pizza. Like I'm losing it but dealing It's alarming but appealing And somehow healing How long has it been since this old heart has skipped a beat? How long have I kept an even key? How hard have I worked to keep our life so calm and neat? And how good does this freaking chaos feel? Though I don't have the first idea what else may be in store, I know I won't be frightened. Tonight. Why can't you just do what losers do and lose? Savannah, this is your chance right now to be a better person. Think of this as a personal growth opportunity. Suck it! <laughs> oh God, have I taught my daughter to be cautious at all costs? Have I somehow made her feel afraid? Have I held too tightly after all, we both have lost And how do I clean up this mess I made? Cause clearly I can't promise Things will all turn out okay But here's the most important thing I'll say No more fear We'll be tough and tough together, no more fear. I can't. 
can't even stand looking at you. Your face is repulsive. Ow! My daughter is perfect! What? No more shyness or embarrassment. No diffidence, no doubt. That self-consciousness and anxiousness. Just throw that stuff right out. Cause I thought I taught you manners. But I may have made you weak And a girl can't be a good girl Without ever being weak If you have to fight, then fight And I'll be the first to cheer No more waiting No more hiding Are we clear? No Just one day till Mike's my dad and he says, when are we starting? When we start, when we start, okay? Just one day till Mike's my dad and I'm not the only boy in the family. Wow, I look, look beautiful. beautiful. We won, you won. Catherine, let's get this party started. Oh, what are you wearing? Are you nervous? I never thought I'd be in a wedding dress this soon. Oh, I remember when Tom gave you that hourglass. He loved you very much, and Mike loves you very much. If Mike loves you a fraction of how much I love you, you'll be all right. Go marry that very patient man. Oh, and put a little more blush on, just a scotch. Ready to do this? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. Ready? Yep. I was standing over here. And I was, I was holding it on my right. I was holding it in my right. Now we've got the magic glass. And the magic came to pass. And we learned important things. Blah, 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 so many things. And I walked inside her shoes and saw the world her way. In just one day. 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 Why isn't it working? Try again. In just one day. Oh my god, this stupid magic doesn't know when to quit. I don't know what to do. Oh god. What if this means that one day's now every day that we're stuck like this forever? If I had known, I never would have wished the way I did. I want to stay a kid and not a grumpy grown-up with these wrinkles and the stress, that pressure and that fletcher. Oh my God, it's such a mess. I didn't even 
get to see life flash before my eyes. It just went away. Now I'll pay. Today and every day. Today is every day. I will hold you. I will protect you. I won't let this thing affect you. But we both know that we're screwed with that kind of attitude. This whole long life I'll never live. My college years and more. And all that I'll go through again that hurt so much before. I didn't even get to see life flash before my eyes. It just went away to make this all okay. Today or any day. Or every, every Today day. or any day. Mom, I can't do this. I can't get married. Of course you can't. Mommy, I'm so scared. We have to tell Mike. Just break up with him? Like ripping off a band-aid. A long walk down the aisle. Should we not wave and smile? Or let them know disaster struck. This aisle is like a mile. I'm glad you're here with me. And Mike will surely see you're not the woman he once knew. And I can never be. There she is. Look at you, so my sweet little girl. Dearly beloved, we are. Hi, could you just hold on for one second? Mike, I think that we need to talk. Let's talk later, okay? Continue. Dearly beloved. Stop. Even if he says keep going, don't, okay? Honey, I know you're nervous, and this whole day has been chaotic, and we just need to do this Mike, now. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. Harsh. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be, because the truth is you're a great person, and I guess I just didn't want another great person in our family, because I thought I'd forget my, forget everything that came before, but, you belong with us, in this family, but I still can't go through with it even though I love you. Wait. Say that again. What? I love you. I love you. Honey, listen to me. If today is every day, I will be here, I will love you. I will put no one above you, cause I love your messy hair, and I love your grouchy glare. The way you dress in all your mess, I love them through and through. Whatever makes you happy, I want for you, I do. I'm telling you it's true. Cause darling, I love you for you. And you know I love you for you. I love every crazy thing. You know that I love you. Mom, is that really you? <laughs> Mom. Mommy, I'm so sorry. You should never, don't be sorry. If you thought I didn't love you. No, I know it and I love you. It took this day. Cause I'm glad to have me back I know I won't be perfect But I won't be such a witch We'll both forgive each other Now won't that be a switch? We'll love each other, you and I And secrets we'll both keep Things we'll never say No stupid, sweet cliche Just in one more quick display I do. I do! I told you, you would never believe me, but it really happened. I'll love you too.
just this way Today and every day probably wondering about a few things, like, how'd the wedding reception go? It starts today. I made the cover story for Weddings Magazine. My catering business quadrupled overnight. Today and every day. They loved my seven layer vice. His best man speech murder. I got my license to practice couples therapy. Today and every day. I'm going to Yale on a fast track PhD program, Eat My Duck. Gym, which means summer school. I have to do summer school too. If you want, I could give you a ride. That would be cool. Ew! Gross! For a minute, it looked like you two were gonna make out. Hey, come on, who made your puppets? You can be my act. 